Hello guys, another week, another exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and GC with me, your baddest host, Miss Bang. It's still giveaway season, guys, and so far I've been reading the comment section and I can't find people who are actually giving me the correct answer to the person that is on the card. Please, if you're not sure, you can always re-watch the show. I'll be giving the answer or I'll be calling our lucky winners here pretty soon. But so far, the answers are not convincing at all. Please check very well the person that's on the cart and drop the person's name in the comment section. And without wasting any second out of the beautiful minutes we're gonna be spending here, let's get it popping with the first segment of this program coming up just after this. More on Biggie updates, guys. So on this other episode of Fish vs. Patience, these two be acting like they're the only ones in the house, whereas we have other flatmates. So, Biggie asked Fish and Patience to go on a one-on-one -on -one talk together so that they could sort out their differences. And they both agreed too. In course of their conversation, things escalated as both parties could not control their feelings vis-a-vis -vis the other. Fish told Patience cash, cash guys, that she cannot make his manhood to stand. Is Patience that less attractive and ugly? Mm. Anyways guys, Listen to their conversation. People have been through shit. That's I'm what I want to tell you. Tell but they don't react like you do. I have a sister who has been through rape. You get real sexual assault. What have you been seen? Exactly. So yeah. you, you cannot tell me you yeah. living out there, you've been through secondary school, Fish. university, you've been out there in the public, then somebody just touches your bum bum and then you take it to a sexual assault or to you go out there and everybody's just like you sexually assaulted me and you come here and you're trying to just be like I was sexually assaulted before so that made me so you carry your, your, your predicaments and then you weigh them on me and you think that's okay did I tell you are, are you really serious right now and you tell me I'm Ooh, guys was it right for fish to say that patience cannot make his manhood stand I mean, we all know how Patience has been treating Fish since the day he touched her ass. And besides, in course of their conversation, this is the real reason why she has been acting wild with Fish. Check this. I've been mean, victim of sexual assault, not once, not twice. So you understand the cold you stroke. The minute you did that, you unleashed a different person in me. You unleashed a person in me I have tried so hard so hard to suppress. Ah. They say love the ever start now with hatred. And my question to you guys, do you see these two, I mean fish and patience, hooking up together even after the big issue? Let me know in the comment section. Mike Monster has been bursting the internet lately, stepping on the toes of young artists and calling them photo shoot artists. Okay now. I don't know the reason for his recent post, but I know that he has been having it extra hot from upcoming artists. He started it by saying, Young artists don't want to put in the work. Everyone is focused on looking like a star with photo shoots. Make music. It starts from the art. I was still trekking to the studio every day, but my peers looked at me like a star based on skills level. Songs went viral before we thought of having professional pics. Your work will make you a star, not the photo shoot and fake lifestyle. After he made this post, upcoming artists took it at the highest level, saying that Joku is being rude, arrogant, and disrespectful for trying to bring down the hustle of others just because he now has a name. Miracle Picking had this to say, The moment you want to pass a message to colleagues, never use yourself as the positive reference. That is first of all cocky and unwise. Then that post confirms your previous post was never about advising younger ones. It was an attack. So it's irrelevant. So it's irrelevant, says Miracle Picking. Is there anything bad with what the Mike Monster said? Or is it the manner in which he said it which is an issue or what. I even heard one blogger saying that Mike Monster is an upcoming artist and that he has no right to advise others. I heard it from somewhere and I'm sure you heard it too, right? I personally think there is nothing wrong giving some advice to people crossing the same road you cross or you are crossing. Mike Monster might not yet been there, but I think as an independent artist who has been through a lot before reaching where he is, 
he knows what he's saying. I'll call on all fast rising artists not to pick offense in what Mike Monster said, but to pick out the essentials. If you'll be showing off cars and cash and hiding behind the title of an artist, then let your music simply speak more. Before I start talking about this one, guys, you need to watch this. <laughs> Is this the kind of talent we should be underrating in Cameroon here? I bet you guys, if Jato Sonita was in Nigeria, we would surely be vibing to our hit songs right now because a producer will have surely signed her. What's wrong with our Cameroonian producers? Are they not seeing this talent to catch and build up? At times, say, see why international is right with the things he says. Watch this, guys. Which it costs you, costs you. Oh no, because the girl no be na Bamenda, the girl no be na Bakweri, no be Barondo, eh, no be Duala, eh, no be Basa, eh, no be Oroko, no be Bamingi. You no go post them. Eh, no be, you no come off for your quarter. No be your family sister. You no go post them. Yay! It costs you how much for post some good article for your platform? Jato Sonita is just 12 years old, man, and her voice is fire, guys. Anyway, we are still waiting on Witty Minstrel to share her video on his Instagram handle. Work really day for this our industry, work still day. But know that uh, promoting someone's talent does not kill yours. It does. On a sad note, guys, a Cameroonian gendarme officer by name, Bogo Ashi Rigobert shot and killed a three-year-old girl called Carol Luis Ndiale in Moliko Boya in the early hours of October 14th. According to witnesses, the incident was as a result of the driver carrying the little girl, her mother, and her siblings to school when they encountered the police checkpoint at the Bokova neighborhood. Sources say after checking the vehicle, the driver refused to pay a 500 francs bribed to the gendarme officer and drove off. So, in a bid to immobilize the car, the gendarme fired shot at the car and the bullet shattered the skull of Carol Louise, splashing her brains on the ground. <laughs> I don't know who side will go. For all the folk, baby, they are paid. But for general, it don't turn a different thing when man don't know. I swear. Obandomo said, Nasika Wati. Palava Kanka Kwando. Just because of 500 francs, we lost two people. Because the gendarme officer was equally stoned to death by the angry mob. The current situation of our country right now really needs God's intervention. And may their souls rest in peace. Reactions to this were insane, guys. While others were praying for the soul of the little girl to rest in peace, this is what a boya-based makeup artist had to say. Everywhere now, na military this and that. If na amba be shoot that picking so una forget hard for poster. Una get that that man not be first man for kill person for Cameroon. Stop making it a big deal. First of all, it was it wasn't intention. That's crazy, right? Majwa his own was crazy, but she took what she said down and apologized in the live session. Why do we always feel that we must always have something to say when something pops up? Why? Come on, the boya based makeup artist had it extra hot from Cameroonians. I trust Huna. We joke a lot on this country. Why are engagement on Cameroonian content so low? Are our Cameroonian artists, comedians, and blogs boring? Are they boring, guys? 
A lot of our contents are underrated. Many of us do not engage on content coming from us. Being it music, movies, comedy, shows, and others, we don't show support at all, but we quickly do for others. We like, we watch, we share contents coming from other countries, but hardly do it for our own content. What's the issue, guys? What's the problem? What are we not doing right? Are our content that boring to you? How many of us click links to websites, to YouTube channels, to view content from our Cameroonian content creators? How many of us? Is it data issues or are our content simply boring to you or what guys? I really want to understand this. It's becoming rampant and it's not good at all. It's not good. That's why we promote other people from other countries because they have taken their brands right up there. If we don't take our brands right up there, we might not reach international levels or it will only die here in Cameroon if we don't really support and share the way we share what comes from other people. Many of our Cameroonian artists have difficulties in reaching a million views on YouTube and our shows don't have the views they deserve despite their good qualities. Is it that we are simply not interested in entertainment gist or what? What can be done to improve the engagement on our Cameroonian content? What are the kind of things that might interest you guys? Let me know in the comment section. Welcome on our international showbiz scene, guys. Nigerian artist Tiwa Savage aside her newly released jam, Somebody's Son, featuring American artist Brandy, has been trending lately after a sex tape of hers leaked. So, during an interview, Tiwa Savage said someone has been blackmailing her uh, with a sex tape of hers. I'm still wondering how the person got her sex tape. So the blackmailer was asking the singer for cash in exchange of that. So being afraid of what, of how it might end, uh, Tiwa Savage told her fans, she called on her fans that uh, they should not mind in case the sex tape goes viral. She said she was having sex with someone she loves and wasn't cheating on anybody, thereby frustrating the plans of the blackmailer. The celebrities and their lives. It's really crazy. Now, imagine your daughter coming to confess to you that she's a lesbian here in Africa. How will you react? How will you react to that? Watch this. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I called to tell you something. Yeah. Well, I have a girlfriend. Living with you? No. Well, what do you mean? Girlfriend lover? Yeah. Okay. That's super. That's good. Thank That's you. It's not as enjoy it and you're healthy. I am healthy and happy and I love you. I love you more. <laughs> so, this lady called her dad to tell him that she has a girlfriend lover. And all the father could say is... As long as you are enjoying it and you are healthy, it's fine by me. Just like that. This girl is really, really lucky. Yo. I heard someone saying that the father is accepting this because he is a gay too. I don't know. If you were this girl's father, how would you have reacted to this? How? And on the other hand, guys, uh, this is how lesbians are treated in Cameroon. Huh? Now, and that they do do, they do do, yes, they do do. I'm telling you, my question to you again, guys as a Cameroonian, what will you do if your kid turned out to be a gay? As a Cameroonian, what will you do? Let me know in the comment section. That's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you so very much, guys, for still watching. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. It's still giveaway. There's a card that is popping during this show. You have to watch this show till the end. Make sure you identify the person that is on the card and drop the person's name in the comment section. I've been hearing crazy answers to that, guys. Check the cut very well. Watch the show to the end and drop the person's name in the comment section. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week.
Welcome on our top 10 playlist guys and opening this playlist is this beautiful brand new release titled Never Complain from Jabaguan. Watch and enjoy. We never complain, get to you in my hotel if you never complain. Do my walk with the clock and my brain to a clock walk out. Popping up at the ninth position is this brand new release titled Beautiful from Cameroonian artist Joy Force featuring Pandita Njo. Beautiful, I've never seen a man like you. I've never seen a man. Complicate by Anu takes the eighth position. Complicate, complicate, oh, 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 chérie, ton dolo est très compliqué. Popping up at the seventh position is this beautiful collabo song titled Connie from Dante Boy South and Technica. <laughs> Young Time pops up at the sixth position with this brand new release titled Our Baby. In the city of legendary hospitality, see us our mother's crying and see us our baby's dying. It's crazy how they're playing with guns and kill the young. Better than the whole gun and they shoot us for f Occupying the fifth position is Chop Life from Naya featuring Sango Edi. <laughs> Life over short for us to be stressing or oh no, oh no. If you get some more money, make you spend it on African Woman by Magasco occupies the fourth position. Gabon, je suis fatigué. Que de jolie, jolie bébé. Maybe a coin drops a brand new release titled Commando and it takes the third position. Si Rambo Salatia featuring Avero Jazz with the song Plané occupies the second position. Ce soir, moi je suis à la chasse. Moi je ne veux pas de mots. Tête, ça paye à l'oubou la classe. Et quand cela fait ton show. Topping our playlist is this beautiful song from Cameroonian gospel sensation Elizabeth Teke. And it is titled I Get My Day. Watch and enjoy. I get my day. You to get your day. Okay guys, that's all we have for the top 10 countdown this week. Thank you so very much for watching. This is where we draw the cartoons for today's exciting episode of your favorite show Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Bing. Please make sure you identify the person that's on the card and drop the person's name in the comment section. I'll be right back next week with so much more and for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, follow us. We are on all social media handles. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. And I want to use this opportunity to thank you guys so very much. We are now counting 100,000 followers on our Instagram page. That's huge. I mean, can we put our hands together for that? Thank you so very much for all those following us on Instagram. We are equally available on Twitter on our website too. And we are almost clocking 300,000 followers on Facebook. You see that 237 Showbiz is the media through which you should promote anything you have. It's either you're doing it with us or you're doing it with nobody. Make sure you're part of us on Telegram. Our channel is 237 Showbiz. And please follow our new division, 237 Showbiz Studios. Do have a great weekend.